In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at nesting this dinosaur as close together as possible to reduce material wastage on the sheet. First of all, I'm going to select all of my vectors. And at the top here, I'm going to come up to nesting. If I select this, it's going to create a nested toolpath and I need to type in some values. First of all, I have my tool diameter. My tool diameter is going to be 12 millimeters. The toolpath clearance is the space as shown here, where you have a tool, then the space in between, and then the tool starts to cut again. My sheet edge clearance is a space around the edge of the material before the nesting will start. This will prevent splinting in certain materials if it's too close to the edge. In other cases, you may want it go, to go right up to the edge. So you can define this by typing in a value into your sheet edge clearance. I'm going to allow my parts to be rotated up to 45 degrees. And they're going to nest from the bottom left in X. I'm allowing a maximum number of sheets of 999. The reason I'm doing this is because if this dinosaur wasn't to fit on one sheet, then by having this selected, it would allow it to go over multiple sheets and it would tell me how many sheets are needed for this dinosaur. I'm going to select nest, but I selected 45 degrees for this part to rotate. You could select up to one degree, so the part would rotate one degree each time, but this would take longer to calculate as it would need to work out how the pieces fit best together. As you can see, this is calculated quite quickly. Here's all my parts, and they fit it together as closely as they possibly can. For example, this foot is fit within this spine piece. The next part is to calculate this as a toolpath. So if I select toolpaths and select my profiling toolpath, I'm going to use a selected vectors. So if I select all of these and check it's on selected vectors, in my profiling options, I can have a long inside or outside. I'm going to leave this as outside. I'm going to allow this to cut down to 12 millimeters using a profiling tool, which will be my 12 millimeter end mill tool. Checking my material says 12 millimeters. If it doesn't, it can be changed here. And I'm going to type in a name as nested and select calculate. So it's now calculated a toolpath around the edge of my nested dinosaur. Now, if I were to simulate this, so by selecting the plus nested and select the simulate option, we would see it cuts through right to our design. Now we do have the option to put in tabs into our design. If I select the plus arrow on nested toolpath and come down to end mill, I have this other option here to put in tabs. So if I select this profiling button here and press F6 to show the tool settings tab, if it is not already showing, I'm just scale this up to fit on my screen slightly and come across to the 2D view. So with my profiling options up, I'm going to select two bridges. So I'm going to put on the first bridge on the start point, I'm going to select a thickness or a length of 12 millimeters and a thickness of six millimeters. And then I'm going to select update all bridges and create bridges. So here we have all of our bridges in place. 
and if we want we can just drag one of these arrows to move them into a more relevant place which is going to be much easier to cut out afterwards. So I can move this onto more of a flat section and work my way around all of these if I choose to make them much easier to cut out afterwards. If I then select close and if I reset my material block so I come up here to toolpath right click and select delete simulation switch over to the 3d view and select my end mill toolpath and select simulate will then create my toolpath with my bridges in place as we can see here and in this section here here and here so this is creating our nested dinosaur using the profiling tools and the bridging option to create our finished design.